Today we are going to play around with makeup. Basically everything is gonna be brand new to me and this is gonna be really laid back. We're just gonna have some fun, apply some makeup. I don't know, we're gonna see first impressions whether or not any of this product is good. I wanna start off with whatever is in here. I literally got this package delivered about two hours ago. I had no idea this was coming my way so I'm really grateful. Thank you, you to the people. I'm hoping there's something in here that we can, there's something in my eye. <laughs> Plumping hydration, light as air. One of your favorite just got better. It is their superfood air whipped moisturizer cream. We're gonna use this. We have the kale and spinach hyaluronic acid infused cream. Let's let my, oh. Oh, this smells so nice. I'm gonna apply this all over the skin. I've already washed my face. I haven't exfoliated in probably like five days. We've been super overwhelmed here in the house. Trust me when I say we should totally have merch called Chaos. Chaotic World, Chaos, I don't know. We need to figure something out because there's just way too much going on and I'm usually pretty active on my phone like with my friends and Rhonda and I've been everywhere. I'm gonna let the, ooh, that feels so silky and soft and nice. I really like that. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. We're gonna apply a lip mask because my lips do not like, oh man, okay, there we go. My lips don't like me right now. This is the one that I got uh, via Gerard Cosmetics Mystery Box. Oh God, I did it wrong, hold on. <laughs> it's just too jelly-ish. I also got a package from Benefit last month that I never opened, which has never happened before. So let's see what we got this time around. Oh yay, some of my faves. I think it's time to take it off. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Any juices that are left? Coincidentally, I have a Bobbi Brown lip balm here, so I'm gonna really go in and hydrate my lips. They're hating me after trying that House Labs lipstick. Oh my God. I'm gonna move on to applying the Bobbi Brown primer and base, it's a face base. I'm only grabbing this much because we've already moisturized the skin. We don't wanna over moisturize and then whatever product we put on top will get like oily looking, greasy and stuff. We're not channel Dora. So we are going to apply a very small amount since our skin is already moisturized. So really, really we're using this for the priming benefits on the skin. We all know, although I typically would skip a primer, we cannot skip a primer now because this weather in Florida has been insane. Next, I'm going to apply the Bobbi Brown Tint. This is the Vitamin Enriched Skin Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 15, it has pro vitamin D, cactus flower as well. Now I got this one in golden three. Girl, I don't know if this is gonna be my shade. I don't know, this is a first impression, it's a skin tint. I don't know if that's gonna work for me. I don't know if it's too light, too dark. I don't know what the coverage is gonna look like. I'm a little scared. Although I always like trying new product. You guys know I like doing wear tests and stuff like that. I'm not doing one for today because I'm kind of wear tested out at this point, which is fine. Oh, maybe I should have gone one shade lighter? Maybe? Let's just kind of press this into the skin and see what that looks like. Mm. What's funny is, on my viewfinder, I look a little more orange. Maybe it's because of the camera and how it's capturing it, because in person it looks fine. And it seems like it'll get toned down once I apply my concealer, just to show you guys. Um, I didn't use it all. That was a lot. I'm gonna conceal with my Huda Beauty Full Filter Luminous Matte Concealer in Cookie Dough. Let's see. I haven't used this one in a little bit, but I know I really, really like her. And so what happens is, like a little bit goes a long way because the coverage is on my balls. Now this has such great coverage, so I'm not gonna let it sit. I'm just gonna kind of start blending this baby away. See, I really enjoy just playing around with makeup. So I'll just go ahead and play around with makeup and create fun looks, and then I'll post it on social media. And then people are like, did you film it? And then I feel like crap. Cause then I'm like, no, I didn't film it. So today is one of those days where I'm just playing. So I figured film it, why not? I'm gonna go ahead and whatever's left on my brush I'm gonna bring. By the way, this is a BK Beauty 101. It's absolutely stunning. And then I'm gonna kind of brighten this area here with whatever concealer is on the brush itself. I'm gonna move forward and set the concealer with my Brightening Banana Powder by Over Cosmetics. You all already know what we do with the powder. I'm gonna remove excess and then I'm gonna set the underball. I was gonna say the underball. I kinda said it, but I didn't mean underball. I meant 
under eye ball situation. You know, this skin tint provides really nice cover. I didn't even use a lot. It provides really nice coverage. It's gonna be one of those skin tints like you're gonna have to actually go in with um, some decent amount of makeup. This is not gonna be. Uh, just apply it on your face and call it a day. You're really, really gonna have to go in otherwise. It's gonna look a little odd, I feel like. But then again, it could also be the fact that the shade is not spot on. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I ended up taking the original Hula over to Miami and it's at my mother-in-law's house sitting in the closet. I'm not going all the way to Miami just to use my Hula. I have the Hula Light and the Hula Caramel, so I use them a lot. All right. You know, I'm not mad at this. This is looking good so far. I'm just gonna tell you, regardless of what I do on my face, like the hair's just not gonna roll. Like I'm gonna have to put it down or something cause this is not cute, like at all. I am gonna move on to the eyebrows. Oh wait, I used the hula, I'm an idiot. I used the hula, but I really wanted to use their little duo. Oh wait, 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 their little duo. Look how stinking cute this is. This one is, what does it say? It says Hula Beach Vacay. They have a few of these available in different shades. How cute is this? You're gonna get the bronzer and the blush. This is tiny, but it's cute, look. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a reels with this. And it smells florally. It smells really pretty. I'm gonna use my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in number six. This is my trusty pencil right now. It's been for months. So I feel like you just can't go wrong. It's so slim and thin. I can get my brows done really quickly. I've been fluctuating between this pencil and their brow powder, but my brush is dirty right now, so I need to wash that in order to do my brows properly, and I just don't feel like washing brushes right now. And then to clean out my brows, I'm gonna use the Perfect Cover Concealer by Ofra Cosmetics. Mine is in medium golden, and so what I like to do is I like to kind of go like this with a little flat brush, remove excess on the back of my hand, and I'll just go in and shape. See, this is the part that takes longer, like the brows. Everything else is just kind of like a big paintbrush, right? With the brows, you either get them right or get them wrong. And if you get them wrong, to have to start all over again is kind of annoying. So I will take my time with this. That's why usually I'll do like one on camera and then the other one I don't. We are using the Tres Luces Se Preparo in medium. Now this lid primer was actually really nice. I like the applicator and how chunky it is. And to be fair, it did a really good job. I was impressed at the end of the day once I went to remove my makeup because it didn't budge at all. I'm gonna use a beauty sponge that's just sitting here in front of me. I used it yesterday. It's dirty, but I don't care. It's fine. I'm gonna press this onto the skin. So at first I was not 100% into the primer because it disappears. So it's not like the Gerard Cosmetics. Is it 100% the Gerard Cosmetics, no, but it is a really good alternative. It's it's that good. You see, like, with the Gerard Cosmetics, you get way more coverage on the lid, more of, a, like, a cleaner canvas for your eyeshadow, whereas with this one, you can kind of still see through. It's fine. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. The important part is the lasting power. And I'm gonna play around with the Scandal Palette by Lorella. Is Lorella a brand that I'm obsessed with? No, but they have really good product. They have some hits and they have some misses. It's one of those brands where like, once you get a product that you really, really like, just hold on to it. This was featured in a beauty box. I don't remember which one, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I just don't remember. Um, but I remember unboxing it and saying I was gonna get to it and I never did. So we're gonna go ahead, and create something with this palette. Now we can get creative because I don't need to match it with anything and I'm technically not going anywhere. So let's see what we come up with. I am going to dip into this red, it's called Bad Behavior. And I'm hoping this doesn't stain anything as in my clothes and or my lid, cause that would be really bad. I'm gonna tap that about halfway, but not, not even halfway, one third. And I'm gonna go back in and I'll do the same thing out here. That is extremely opaque and pigmented. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Was not expecting it to be this pigmented. The color story on this palette is actually really nice. I'm not mad at it. Now I'm gonna carefully grab a really tiny brush. This one is by P. Louise. And I'm gonna dip into a shade deeper than the red, but it's still kind of like a cranberry. It's called Haters. And I'll use that. Oh my God, hold on. I dropped my towel. I'm actually rubbing this brush onto that towel to remove excess because that was extra pigmented. Okay, and I'm gonna go along that edge. Just trying to diffuse. 
and then with a fluffy brush, I'll go along that edge. I didn't wanna go along the edge of the red on its own. I wanted to definitely go a little deeper, but at the same time, had I gone with that red, it would have it just blown it out too much. So I just wanted to add a deeper kind of berry tone out here, and that's what we're gonna kind of diffuse and add warmth to the eye with. There we go, I got it out. With no additional product, whatever's left, I'm gonna tap again. And then I'm gonna grab another brush and I'm gonna dip into Problematic. That is like a really shimmery gold. Look how pretty that is. And then of course I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other eyeball. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of a liner on the waterline at the bottom. And then with a very fine brush like this one, I'm gonna dip into Haters once again. I'm gonna make sure I tap out. And I'm gonna smudge that red on top of the black. I think it's gonna help wrap the eye around beautifully without it smoking it out too much. Like, I think it adds to the look for sure. Since I've already got my little powder puff, I'm gonna go one of these real quick. And now we have to pop on some lashes. You're gonna bear with me. I know these are not for everyone. These are in the style Savage. And they are by Gerard Cosmetics. This is a dramatic look. It requires dramatic lashes. If only I can get them out. And now we need to apply mascara on the lower lashes. I'm gonna use the Essence Curl and Volume Mascara from the Lash Princess line. I'm gonna tilt my chin down, look up at my mirror, and apply. Girl, we need to go in with a blush. This is the Kofi Mendy Moment Blush in Blessed Berry. It's brand new, girl. We're gonna try this together. Oh, wow. I thought it would have been this color, but it's not. I don't know how this is gonna work. We're gonna apply this with the finger. Let's see. It's purple. I'm gonna blend that out, tapping it onto the skin. It's really pretty. And it looks like it has a little bit of luminosity to it, which is nice. This, do not worry about, we can fix that. That's a non-issue. This is way too much. Okay. That blush looks so pretty on the skin. Now I would normally tell you guys, we're almost done. We just have to apply a lippy, but I feel like I wanna go back in under the eye. So I'm gonna grab the brush. I'm gonna do one of these. Oh my God, wish me luck because this is like really pigmented. I'm gonna like tap out and I want, oh God, hold on. Let me do one of these just in case. I want to kind of blow this out a little more, add a little more red to the look. Cause I feel like it's gonna add to it and make it even more sexy. Same thing on the other eyeball. That is more like it. I'm gonna move on with my lips. I'm gonna use this P. Louise Lip Liner. It is in Mark My Words, and it is a beautiful shade of nude brown. I'm gonna outline my lips. And then I'm gonna fill the corners in. And then I wanna go in with the Gerard Cosmetics Sheen in Spring Fling. Now this here, <laughs> it's like a super pigmented long wear cream lipstick. So you have to go really lightweight with it. But I like how hydrating it is on the lips. It's kind of similar to the Flexi Slicks by Ofra, but still very different. So it doesn't look like I applied it a lot good because we didn't. And then I'm going to blend that out with my finger. So once you blend it out, it almost looks like you've done nothing. I'm gonna go over it very gently with a Barrett Minerals lip liner. This one is in Striking Spice. I'm gonna go just above the brown liner and I'm gonna add a little bit of warmth with this lip liner. All right, you guys, and here is the completed look. Can I just say I'm really impressed with this red. I think it looks really pretty. The eyes are very seductive. Not very everyday for many, many people, but I could rock this and still go out and feel super confident. It came out really nice. The lashes just added to the whole vibe and pop of color that I was looking for for today. I'm actually glad I filmed this because I am posting a picture on Instagram and, and socials and I know for a fact that you guys are going to want to see this step by step. So here we go, it's already done. I really hope you have enjoyed watching me play around with new makeup products and create makeup looks that I typically would only create for myself. Make sure you let me know what you think about this look. And if you've tried this Scandal palette, let me know what you think. In my opinion, it's very impressive. Like this is one of those hits that Lorella has. It's really good. And if you're new to my channel, I wanna invite you to join a little family here on the YouTube by hitting the subscribe button below. I upload six days out of the week because I wanna make sure you have fun, ongoing content at all given times. I'm gonna go ahead and recommend two videos here on screen. I'm hoping you'll consider checking out. And if you do, I will see you guys over there. Bye guys.